Hi all, in this video, we'll make a wireless communication between Gateway and Sensor Node using NRF24 LO1 wireless transceiver module. The NRF24 module is a low power consumption module with a distance up to 100 meters. The module can be easily interfaced with microcontrollers like Node MCU or Arduino. We'll transmit DST11 sensor data from Node to Gateway. The Gateway can be made using Node MCU Wi Fi module. And the sensor node can be made using Arduino or Node MCU. I used Node MCU in my case. The node will read temperature humidity data and will transmit to Gateway using NRF24 module. Now, the Gateway is connected to Wi Fi and will upload the received data to Thingspeak server. So, this is how you can make a communication between a Wi Fi Gateway and a sensor node. In order to give the professional look to the circuit, I have designed the PCB for all of the circuits. So the PCB for gateway is this and the PCB for node using ESP8266 is this. Similarly, I have designed another node using Arduino Nano. You can use either of the any circuit using node MCU or Arduino. So this is a 3D view of the gateway. The gateway circuit is very very small and this is also the 3D view of the sensor node using Arduino. This is the 3D view of the sensor node using node MC. I have added the link of all this Gerber file. So you can see there are three Gerber files. So you can order any two PCB that is the PCB for the gateway and the PCB for the sensor node. So now I want to order the PCB. So to order the PCB just visit nextpcb.com. Click on PCB instant quote. So here you can directly upload the Gerber file. So to upload the Gerber file, click on upload file, select the Gerber file. So after selecting the Gerber file, the file will be uploaded successfully. So here you can see this is the top view and you can also browse to the bottom view. So now select the PCB quantity. I selected 5 PCB. Select the PCB thickness, colors and all other details. Select the country for courier. So I selected India. Now the PCB ordering has been done so you can see here. So why I selected next PCB is because they are one of the best PCB manufacturer company in China. Currently they are giving 10% discount on any other order. So you can get whole air PCB at $12 and for trial assembly service you can order only at $28. Now let us see the architecture and block diagram of this entire system. So we have multiple nodes. So the first node is node 1 and then we have node 2 and then we have node 3. Suppose you are using n number of nodes. Now all these nodes are made using the common devices. Now the common devices contains a microcontroller. In my case I am using Arduino Nano and a transceiver module. So the transceiver module is NRF24 LO1 modules. Now this module is combined to form a individual node. So you can make multiple nodes using the same Arduino Nano and same NRF24 LO1 module. Now all these modules transmit the sensor data to Wi-Fi gateway that is made using Wi-Fi module like Node MCU and the NRF24 transceiver module. Here it is acting as a receiver. Now this Wi-Fi gateway collects all the data from the nodes and upload to the Thingspeak server. So this is how we can collect all the data from the node and transmit it wirelessly and upload it finally to the any of the server. The components required for this project are we need a pair of microcontroller. In my case I am using Node MCU. So you can replace one of the Node MCU with Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano. The PCB is designed for Arduino Nano. Now we need a pair of NRF24 LO1 transceiver module. So this transcription module are little noisy. So I recommend you to uh, directly make a PCB for this. A long while will create a lot of noise. Now we need sensors. So you can use capacitive soil moisture sensor, gas sensor. In my case, I am using DST11 humidity and temperature sensor. And now I want to transmit the data of humidity and temperature wirelessly. So we need multiple jumper wires. Now here is a circuit diagram. So this is the receiver circuit or the gateway circuit. In the gateway circuit, we are using NRF24 and simply a node MCU. Now this is the transmitter circuit. Now the transmitter circuit is either designed using Arduino Nano or you can design it using node MCU. So here is the circuit assembly. This is how I have assembled 
the transmitter circuit this is the transmitter circuit sorry this is the receiver circuit or the gateway and here is the transmitter circuit the transmitter circuit is having an array of 24 and the sensor that is dst11 so we'll make a communication between this both nrf24 so now let's move to the coding part now let us see the code first so we have two codes one is for the gateway another code is for the sensor node so the library that we are using is rh nrf24.h there are other libraries for nrf24 but the library compilation either occurs if you want to compile the library with node mcu this one is for the dst11 humidity and temperature sensor in the ep rom we are storing the device id and the gateway id so if you are using node mcu you can define this pin as cen csn pin but in case if you are using arduino then you need to define 8 and 7 so uncomment this line simply so we are defining the dst11 pin as d1 so as we are connecting it to the node mc if you are using arduino you can define using the pin 2 so the dst type is dst11 uh, right here dst22 if you are using dst22 sensor so we are initializing by creating certain instances so the device id is read from the ep rom and we are defining some integer value for humidity and temperature sensor so by serial we are initializing the serial begin function and the dst library is uh, for initializing the dst sensor so this all will check the frequency and will check the connection whether the nrf24 is connected properly or not and it will also set the frequency for data transmission so if it is connected it will display as initialization done and transmission got started so under the loop function we are measuring the humidity and temperature data and uh, we are creating some array so that we can send the data wirelessly from transmitter to receiver using certain pipe so we are defining some array data size so this line will print the humidity temperature and the gateway id using this function we are sending all the data with the proper size okay and then we'll then wait for the replay whether the data is sent is received by or not so if we get the replay it will display as got replay and you can also define what replay we got using this function so this is how the central node code works now let's move to the gateway so the gateway is made up of wi-fi so we are defining sp8266 wi-fi dot h so this is the api key from thing speak change the wi-fi ssid and password from here uh, from here we are again reading the gateway id the gateway id can be stored using the eprom function i will add the link for the code in the description you can get that code and you can add the gateway id in the eprom so here we are defining the server like we are sending the data to thing speak server so again we are defining the same pin you can change and uh, here the wi-fi connection begins and again we are just setting it at a receiver so under the loop function we are just checking whether the data is received or not so we are retrieving the data and parsing what is the amount of data okay so we are now reading the humidity temperature and device id the data that is received from the transmitter part now we are sending this data to the thing speak server okay so when you send the data to the thing speak server you will get certain reply and this data will be printed on the serial monitor now remember one thing before client stop you need to add certain delay i have faced a lot of issue because of this if you want a delay the data won't get uploaded to the thing speak so the delay should be at least of 500 milliseconds or one second so the data interval is almost 15 seconds so you can set it to 15 seconds by uncommenting this or set it to any interval that you want but the data receiving rate depends upon the delay that is provided here now you need 
uh, API key. So to get the API key, just go to the thingspeak.com and just sign in. And then after signing in, just create an ID. So I have created an ID. So you can see the channel. So define the channel by something name like this. The field one is temperature, then humidity, then get your ID and the device ID. So the private views look something like this. So here we will get the data for the temperature, here the humidity and this one will display the numeric value for get your ID and this one will display the numerical value for device ID. From the API keys, copy this API key and then go to the gateway and paste it over here. So that's all from this side. Now let us see what we get after uploading the code. Okay, now the codes are successfully uploaded. Now open the serial monitor in both of the ID. So here you can see the data from the sender node that is the sensor node is transmitted over wirelessly using NRF and you can see the data is received here and here you can see got reply data received if you don't get reply it will say no reply so the current temperature is 28 humidity is 95 so we are getting the same the data from the sensor node to gateway now let us see whether the data from the gateway is uploaded to thingspeak or not. For that just go to the thingspeak and then click on the private view. So here you can see the data is uploaded and the gateway id is 5. So here we can see the log temperature is 28 every time and the humidity is 95. So I will provide some heat to the temperature sensor so that the temperature will get rise. So you can see after supplying us heat the temperature has raised and it has become almost 29. Now it has raised more than 30. But we don't see change in the humidity. Maybe my sensor is damaged. But you can try this method. So this is how you can design a cheap NRF24 gateway using Node MCU and then so many other sensors that you like. Hope you like this video. So please uh, drop the like, comment down if you have any other QD and please subscribe my channel. I have been working very very hard for making the, all this video. Thank you.